Hi, this is Nicholas Katz. I'm one of the ICA teachers at the Glen Rock location. Um, with us having to transition to online classes for the time being, we wanted to release a short video explaining how that process is going to work, how we're going to keep these classes going, and what the online classroom is going to look like. Um, I want to start off by saying that we're going to try to keep the classes as close to our traditional classes in person that we're used to. We still want to make sure that we're keeping that six to one student teacher ratio. We want to make sure all the students are still getting all of the individual attention that they need during their classes. And we want to keep the structure relatively the same. So the kids are still going to get to play games at the end of the class. They're still going to have homework, everything as normal. It's just all going to be digital. So um, how we're going to do this, we're going to be using a program called Zoom, which I'll show you in a minute. But Basically, the way it's going to work is you're going to be emailed a link to your classroom. And once that link is clicked, it's going to take you directly to the classroom you're supposed to be in. So each week, we'll send out a link appropriate to your student. And they'll be sent directly into the classroom once they click that link. Um, what they'll need to make this work, they're going to need a device that's compatible with this Zoom program and an internet connection. I know for a fact that computers can run Zoom and I know iPads can run Zoom. I'm not sure about other mobile devices, but you'll have to check that on your own. But yeah, they're going to need a device that can use Zoom and an internet connection. Other than that, we're going to ask that they have a chess.com account. It's completely free. You can just go to chess.com, sign yourself up. You're going to need to make a username, password, list an email address, but there's no charge. It's completely free. And the only reason we'll be using that is to make sure that they can still play their games at the end of the day. They can challenge each other through that site. Since we can't use physical boards anymore, obviously, we needed some program to let them challenge each other. So we'll be using chess.com for that for the most part. Um, as far as microphones or webcams go, the teacher will have a microphone so that all the students can hear them in the classroom and what they're saying. And I think most, if not all, will definitely have a webcam so the teacher can be physically seen as well. The kids are welcome to have this, but it's certainly not required. So they could have a microphone, they can have a webcam, so it feels more like a traditional classroom, but they don't need it. We can work around it if they don't have it. Okay, showing you what Zoom looks like. This is basically the bare bones Zoom client. I'm the only one in the room right now, but Zoom is basically a room where everybody can see or hear everything that's going on in it. It's just a video conferencing program. So from here as the host, I can invite students, I can see my list of participants, and there's a whole lot of things that you can do as a student or a host here, whether you can draw on the screen, show whatever. But how our classes are going to be operating, the teacher will be sharing their screen, and they'll be sharing a chessboard or whatever they're showing for that day. It could be a video, it could be a chessboard, whatever. But we'll run through our normal class. Everything that the teacher does on the screen can be seen by the students in real time. So every move that I make, they'll be able to see. So I can run through games from here, I can give them problems, but the students will be able to interact as well. They have the power to draw on the board, they have the power to suggest moves, they have the power to type suggestions. They can interact very, very heavily with these. With that said, the teacher also has the power to shut this down. So if the class is getting out of control, the teacher does still have the power to take over, shut down all those features, and teach on their own. But most of how this is going to work is the teacher will be sharing whatever on the screen, mostly chess boards, sometimes videos, but the students will be able to hear and see everything that is going on on that screen. There will be a chat box, so when prompted, like, do you have an answer to this problem, they can answer through a chat box, or if they have a microphone, they're welcome to suggest it then. We also have the power to make sure only one person is talking at one time, so it won't get chaotic. As far as anything else, we're going to try and make this transition as seamless as possible and as painless as possible, but we will have no more than like six students and we will try and get as familiar with this program as quickly as possible so we can get back to normal routine and normal classes. If you have any questions about the program or how online is going to work in general, feel free to email. We'll answer all of them as soon as we can. Thanks.